Thank you, Governor, and good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Jim Pizer. I'm Secretary of Education, uh, and I will be your uh, Master of Ceremonies uh, for most of the rest of today. Look, I don't even have to. I don't even have to say anything, and they come up and say, "This is the most." Obedient group of people I've ever met. Uh, that's good. So this is we're establishing a good pattern. So all you other panelists, you come up without my even having to ask. Just as soon as I'm standing here, you know it's time to come up. Um, but I, I want to uh, just sort of preface uh, my uh, sort of uh, formal or um, uh, professional task here this morning by first of all thanking Chris Gabrielli for the leadership that he has shown in creating the vision for this event and for stepping up and pulling it together in combination with, uh, with Annie Cellini, who he also uh, referenced earlier. This was, as you can imagine, a lot of work. Um, there were many people involved in it, but those two in particular deserve a huge amount of credit and thanks. So if you could all just give them a round of applause. <clears throat> so as you know, today's, um, today's agenda is built around a series of announcements about new initiatives that are happening right here in Massachusetts. And the reason for this, uh, this format is, first of all, obviously to create greater awareness about what's happening all around us, uh, but also to generate a sense of accelerating momentum and some excitement about the opportunities for us to do even more. Uh, and in that spirit, we're gonna move quickly from one presentation to the next, limiting each panel to 15 minutes. Um, I will be, as I said, the MC, the timekeeper, the taskmaster, the nudge uh, to kind of keep you, all, uh, keep you all going. There's a clock here. You can't see it, but I can, uh, as can the panelists. Um, so I will introduce the moderator, but there will be no long uh, introductions of the panelists themselves. Um, we'll have this countdown clock, as, uh, as I just mentioned, so that they, they're aware of the passing time. And then I'll stand up here awkwardly um, and, and make them feel increasingly uncomfortable as the, as the clock ticks down. So if you're all OK with that. Um, so to get us started, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, acknowledge uh, our first panel in particular, uh, the moderator, Anand Agarwal of, uh, of edX, who is uh, here with uh, his colleagues to announce two exciting partnerships uh, between edX and GE and Microsoft. Take it away, Anand. Thank you, uh, Secretary Pizer. Uh, I'm uh, Anant Agarwal. I'm the CEO of edX and a professor at uh, MIT. Um, edX is, a, uh, is the world's leading nonprofit online learning destination uh, with 14 million learners. And uh, we are based right here in uh, Kendall Square in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Um, today, I'm really excited uh, to announce uh, uh, two momentous partnerships with uh, two of the two global industry leaders, uh, GE and Microsoft. Um, as part of this partnership, um, we will enable uh, learners, uh, uh, students, uh, people who are working, uh, looking to advance their careers in Massachusetts to be able to take MicroMasters programs in uh, cutting edge topics like AI and data science and cybersecurity and others uh, to be able to uh, advance their careers in, uh, in these fields. Uh, we partnered with uh, GE and Microsoft uh, uh, in that area. Um, to start off, uh, I would like to uh, introduce uh, uh, our colleagues from uh, GE, Paul uh, Fama, who is the uh, global learning leader um, to start with our first announcement. Great. Thanks, Anna, and, and thanks to the governor for pulling together such a great um, uh, panel of people to talk about something very exciting, which is uh, education and, and digital learning. Um, we're, as you know, uh, just bought everything that the governor has said about the intellectual capital here in Massachusetts and Boston, and very excited to be part of the community and our new headquarters and creating jobs uh, here in Boston. Um, we also have a very exciting announcement today, which is uh, the first ones to um, agree to the commitment of interviewing anyone in Massachusetts who creates a micro, who finishes a micro master's program. Um, and we are glad to do that in the areas of cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and supply chain management. These courses have been um, so well planned and developed that it's time that we recognize those in a real way, which is in jobs. So we're glad to be a part of this uh, gathering. We're glad to be part of this ecosystem that's creating really the future of education 
because we believe not only in the great programs at MIT and, and the, all the universities here uh, and the classroom experience, but it's an and. It's an and that we will provide different kinds of education for anybody who needs it. So thank you for uh, allowing us to be part of this, and uh, thank you for the partnership. Um, thank you very much, Paul. Uh, we are really excited uh, about our partnership with GE, and my hope is that uh, many additional employers, uh, both in uh, Massachusetts and other parts of the country, uh, you know, recognize uh, that this kind of flexible modular learning is very critical and make similar commitments to interview and provide uh, pathways to jobs for learners that complete uh, the programs like the MicroMasters on um, edX. Um, let, me, um, let me spend a few minutes uh, uh, you know, describing what a MicroMasters is. Uh, you all know what a master's degree is, uh, uh, but for a lot of students, uh, it might be hard to come to a campus. Uh, oftentimes, not oftentimes, always, master's degrees need a bachelor's degree. The whole thing is built up on uh, prior credentials. The MicroMasters is a new credential. Um, it's a one-of-its-kind credential, uh, pioneered by MIT on edX a couple of years ago. Um, this credential is very flexible. Um, it's a piece of a master's, about 25 to 50% of a master's degree, which you can learn completely flexibly and online on edX at your own time. As Governor Baker you know, talked about learners taking some time off their jobs, or learners who've got a degree but no job, uh, you know, can do this on their own time and learn flexibly in cutting edge topics like uh, you know, data science, where there's millions of jobs in the US, in topics like AI and cybersecurity, project management and others, and, uh, and use these credentials to advance their careers and, uh, and uh, to get jobs. Uh, since our first announcement about a year ago, today uh, we have uh, about 40 MicroMasters programs. Uh, for example, in topics like uh, digital leadership from BU or uh, the four uh, topics that are part of our announcement with GE today, uh, the cloud computing from uh, University of Maryland, University College, supply chain management from MIT, artificial intelligence micromasters from Columbia, and cybersecurity micromasters from the Rochester Institute of Technology. And, and these four amazing university partners, uh, uh, we're just delighted to partner with them to offer these credentials. And we're delighted to partner with the GE, who made a commitment to interview a Massachusetts resident that complete these micromasters uh, for jobs uh, uh, you know, at, uh, at GE. We're very excited, uh, excited about that. A lot of residents in Massachusetts and the rest of the country and the world are uh, taking these micromasters uh, and uh, using them to acquire cutting edge skills, uh, fill the skills gap, and, uh, and get jobs. Um, as one example uh, of learners that are, are taking advantage of this and, uh, and being creative about their own learning and careers, is uh, Mia Radish. Uh, Mia is an uh, edX learner, and uh, I would love to have her share with you uh, her own journey and uh, how she is uh, using these credentials uh, in her own career. Uh, Mia? Sure, thank you, and, I, and thank you everybody for being here. I'm really excited to share my experience. Uh, I completed the Supply Chain Management MicroMasters from MIT uh, in the summer of this year, and uh, I think I got exactly what I wanted out of the program. Um, I have a background in behavioral neuroscience from Northeastern University, but after college I found myself working in a field different than what I had studied for. Uh, I was a logistics technician at a biotech company nearby, and uh, I moved into a supply chain focused role a few years in. Uh, I really found that even though I really liked my new responsibilities, um, there was a gap in my academic background that would have really prevented me from progressing within that field. Um, I ended up learning about the MicroMasters program and I uh, just sort of took a course to see, to see what it was like. Um, I ended up, you know, learning a lot. Uh, the courses immediately answered a lot of the questions that I had um, at work. It gave me the background and the tools that I could use immediately uh, next day at work. If I learned something in the evening that uh, I could immediately connect to what I was working on the next day, I could find a way to apply it, and that was uh, very significant. Um, each new course that I took ended up being more useful and applicable than the last, and uh, I ended up completing all five of the courses and taking the culminating exam here at MIT uh, in the summer, and 
I found that it was just a really great way for me to fill that gap between my professional experience and my academic background. Uh, immediately following the program this summer, I was recruited to work at Akamai, just down the street here, uh, which was a company founded by uh, MIT alums. Um, and there I get, to, uh, I get to be a supply chain project manager now. Um, I get to apply my MicroMasters curriculum at work pretty much every single day. And uh, you know, I think I really got exactly what you would hope for getting out of this job, um, sorry, getting out of this program. I, I got my dream job. Uh, I got an increase in responsibility. I got nearly a double increase in pay, which was very significant. And I got to meet a great community of people through edX as well and build out my professional network. Um, I think taking the MicroMasters program really transformed my career in a significant way, and it provided me with opportunities that I really wouldn't have imagined before. Um, so it's an honor to share my story with you all today, and I'm really excited to hear about the industry leader's commitment to people like me and uh, everybody who we want to have the opportunities and success in the same way. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mia. Uh, yours is uh, a truly an inspiring story. And, uh, and you know, just like you, uh, uh, you know, all of us have stories, or many of us have stories where you know, we, have, uh, we, we start off learning some field, mm -hmm. and uh, as, as the world moves and the digital economies move, uh, the jobs are in newer and newer places. And uh, lifelong learning where you acquire uh, pieces of knowledge throughout your life is going to be the mode going ahead, as opposed to uh, you know, the past generations where you learned once and then you uh, worked in the same area for the rest of your life. I think uh, that's a very inspiring story, and thank you for, uh, uh, thank you for being here. Uh, with that, uh, um, I'd like to introduce uh, Rob Rubin, uh, who is uh, both an online learning leader at Microsoft and uh, uh, also an uh, engineer like me, um, and to talk about uh, some of our partnership with Microsoft and uh, their commitments, where uh, we have launched a partnership with Microsoft and uh, Massachusetts Community Colleges. Uh, take it away, Rob. Thank you very much, Anant. Uh, Paul, your story, your commitment is extraordinary. And Mia, your story is very inspiring. Thank you. Um, it's wonderful to be here. Uh, Microsoft has an impressive presence in Massachusetts, and it's passionate about providing Massachusetts residents with access to high quality online learning. Uh, today, we are pleased to announce that Microsoft has committed to contribute towards the cost of any community college student in Massachusetts to complete the entry-level computer science professional certificate program on edX. This program opens the door for jobs in the IT industry and will set community college students in a pathway toward career success and employment. And I want to add that this program was created and developed. Some of the instruction was done by somebody who got his start changing his career by using online courses at edX, taught in community colleges, and is now delivering this online. In addition, so inspiring, just like your story. In addition, we're excited to share that we were working with edX and the North Shore Community College to explore a partnership that can allow learners who complete the Microsoft Professional Certificate in Introduction to Computer Science on edX to apply for credit from North Shore Community College. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Rob. Uh, again, uh, we, we just uh, really value our partnership uh, with you and with uh, Microsoft. Uh, thank you also. Uh, uh, Mia um, and Paul uh, for, our, uh, for the uh, wonderful uh, partnership and inspiration. Um, I also want to take this chance to uh, thank uh, Governor Baker, uh, Secretary Pizer, uh, Chairman Gabrielli, and team uh, for bringing all of us together uh, and giving us a chance to share the news of this innovative and uh, momentous partnership mm -hmm. between universities, uh, uh, nonprofits, uh, corporations. I'm really, really excited uh, by it. Uh, together, uh, we are all uh, totally committed to providing pathways to, uh, uh, to learning and uh, pathways to uh, employment for uh, residents in Massachusetts. Uh, uh, thank you all. <laughs>